Good morning. The Lord be with you. We're in the Lady Chapel this morning for morning prayer, as today is the memoria of Our Lady of Fatima. On this day, 13th of May in 1917, Mary appeared to the three shepherd children, Lucia, Jacinta and Francisco. Uh, and that was in a village in Fatima in Portugal. And her message to them was to pray the rosary every day and to do penance in order to obtain peace for our world. Well, that message is as relevant today as ever. I mean, my goodness, we are engaged in a world war of sorts where we're doing battle against this scourge of COVID-19. So we do pray for peace in our world and a speedy end to this pandemic. And we call on the help and the power of intercession, powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we remember that where crises and problems abound, that God's grace and his blessings abound even more. So the morning prayer this morning is from Our Lady of Fatima. And please join in the hymn if you can. Uh, for one thing, it'll help drown out my rather shaky voice. <clears throat> o God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Mary, immaculate star of the morning, chosen before the creation began, chosen to bring in the light of thy dawning. Woe to the serpent and rescue to man. Here in this world of both shadow and sadness, Veiling thy splendour, thy course has thou run. Now thou art throned in for glory and gladness, crowned by the hand of thy Saviour and Son. Sinners, we worship thy sinless perfection, fallen and weak for thy pity. We lead. Grant us the shield of thy sovereign protection. Measure thy aid by the depth of our need. Bend from thy throne at the voice of our crying. Bend to this earth with thy footsteps have trod. Stretch out thine arms to us, living and dying. Mary, Immaculate, Mother of God. I'll be taking the second psalm from today's morning prayer. You send forth your spirit, and they were created. Hallelujah. Begin a song to my God with tambourines. Sing to my Lord with cymbals. Raise to him a new psalm. Exalt him and call upon his name. For God is the Lord who crushes wars. I will sing to my God a new song. O Lord, you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let all your creatures serve you. For you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and it formed them. There is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be shaken to their foundations with the waters. At your presence, the rocks shall melt like wax. But to those who fear you, 
you will continue to show mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You sent forth your Spirit, and they were created. Alleluia. The reading comes from the prophet Isaiah. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloak of integrity, like a bride adorned in her jewels. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. Alleluia, alleluia. He made her live in his own dwelling place. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. Alleluia, alleluia. The door of paradise was closed to all men because of the sin of Eve. It is opened again by the Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenants remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The door of paradise was closed to all men because of the sin of Eve. It has been opened again by the Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Let us proclaim the greatness of our Saviour, who chose to be born of the Virgin Mary. Confident that he will hear us, we ask, Lord, may your mother pray for us. Son of Justice, you showed your day was dawning in the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Help us to walk in the daylight of your presence. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Eternal Word, in the living flesh of Mary, you found a dwelling place on earth. Remain with us forever in hearts free from sin. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Christ our Saviour, you willed that your mother should be there when you die. Through her intercession, may we rejoice to share your suffering. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Loving Saviour, while hanging on the cross, you gave your mother Mary to be the mother of John. Let us be known as her children by our way of living. Lord, may your mother pray for us. And we bring any of our own private intentions before the Lord. And also we keep in prayer our prayers for peace for our world and a speedy end to this pandemic. Lord, may your mother pray for us. And so we pray to our Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, give to your people the joy of continual health in mind and body. With the prayers of the Virgin Mary to help us, grant guide us through the sorrows of this life to eternal happiness in the life to come. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.